Yeah. Hi, friends. Uh, welcome back. Very good evening. So yesterday we have uh, explained like how to install the Java and Eclipse in your systems, and we have discussed like uh, uh, how to refer that uh, Java API documentation in browser, right? And also we have created that Java project, and we have come to know how to create a package with the standards and how to create a class with the standards and how to print any statement inside this class. That's what we have seen in the last session. Today, we are going to be talking about detailly about what is the Java class and what is the interface we'll be discussing on that. So without knowing this class concept, interface concept, we cannot develop their uh, Java programs or even we cannot develop your uh, Selenium web driver steps. Even Selenium is a web driver interface. So you must know the what is the interface. And then we'll come to know what is interface, what interface contains, everything we'll see on later. Okay, friends. Yeah. So, friends, let me try to create one new class. Uh, let's uh, discuss about what is a Java class. Let's create new class. Right click on any of the package, new class. Let me give like a third class something, main method. So friends, what is a class? Before knowing about the class, you should know uh, one example for understanding friends. If you want to construct a building, what do you require? We require a building plan. We require a building plan. That building plan, what it building plan describes means building plan describes various rooms measurements. Okay, client is coming and saying to the architecture, hey architecture, I'm having 200 square yards of land. I want to construct uh, to double bedroom. So can you please uh, have a design for that? What I'm having a uh, extent land. So architecture start uh, designing um, uh, designing on a piece of paper with what uh, client having the extent land. So like uh, he's designing master bedroom measurement, children bedroom measurement, kitchen measurement, wash area measurement, hall measurement, dining hall measurement, like all various rooms measurements. Is uh, keeping the designing on a piece of paper. So what he's designing in a piece of paper is a reality of virtual means it's a virtual building plan is a virtual. You don't have any state. You don't have any state. If you're feeling sleepy, you can't go to that plan piece of paper and we can't go and go and sleep on the tab, right? You don't have any state. Physically, we don't have any state on that plan. So it's a virtual plan is a virtual. If I want to execute a building plan, what? how can we execute that building plan? With the help of the building blocks. So whatever you plan in a piece of paper, according to the plan, how much tons of sand, how much tons of cement, how many uh, count of bricks, how many uh, tons of cement bags you require, according to that uh, planning you made, you'll be purchasing some building blocks, right? Is it or not? How you plan according to the plan, these many, these many material are required, uh, that much you are purchasing that. Using with help of the building blocks only, we are going to be uh, execute that building plan in constructing in a real world. Is it or not? Okay, the plan, building plan you are executing how? With help of that building blocks. Okay, according to the plan, you are purchasing building blocks. With that help of building blocks, you are implementing that plan in a real world in constructing that executing the plan the same way come to the class come to the class come to the class so what is a class means class is a plan a class is a template a class is a blueprint like how we said like a, a building plan the same class also is kind of a plan so what building plan this class they describe some various rooms measurements. How many rooms? How do I know? Client says, client is saying double bedroom. Client has given requirement based on that architecture has planned that double bedroom measurements in that plan, building plan. The same way I'm saying class is a plan means, yes, we have to plan something inside this class. What I need to plan inside this class? Yes, I need to plan some properties and some behaviors. Friends, any kind of application you are developing means two things are required. One is a one is a data, and second is the operations. If you are developing any application, we require two things. One is the data, 
and second is operations. Take example, if you have some uh, bank account, you want to know your bank details. You want to know your bank details. So you are asking the banker, will you please provide my bank details? What banker is asking? Why not? Will you please provide your bank ID? Friends, bank ID is a data or not? To do your process, to do your account process, the banker is asking the input as a data. Without data, can any operation can be happen? No. So with the data only, every operation will help. So every any kind of application, data is required to uh, to perform the operation. Data is the required. Data operations are mandated. I don't know. So you get the bank details. You must provide the input as a data, your account ID. With that data, account ID only, the banker can process your uh, account details and he can give it to you, right? So the same way, if you want to develop any kind of application, data and operations is required. As terminology, we call data as a properties. As terminology operations, we are defining under the P methods, in the methods. So what class is planning? Yeah, I'm saying class is a plan. We have to plan something inside this class. What I was supposed to be planned? Some set of properties and some set of behaviors. So all the data I'll be storing as a, a terminology called properties and operations we call as in a behaviors, as terminology. A class plan describes properties and behaviors. But data and methods, nothing. Data and operations. As terminology I call properties and behaviors. Okay, next question comes. How many properties, how many behaviors to plan inside the class? Friends, how you plan the building plan? As per client requirement. Client requirement is given clearly, double bedroom. As per that, the design has happened. The same way, if a class is a plan means some properties, some behaviors I want to plan. How many properties, how many behaviors, how do I know? Client will give the requirement. Based on the requirement, we will be planning these many properties these many behaviors inside the class. Suppose you want to do some calculation operations like addition and subtraction. These two are the operations. Addition is one operation. Subtraction is one operation. To happen this addition and subtraction operation, we require some data inputs, like minimum two input variables, okay, but to addition and subtraction. And finally comes the output, that output to store one more output variable is required like three property variables I require and two behaviors I require. So I must plan inside the class three properties and two behaviors inside the class I need to plan it. As for requirement, I must plan it. I was not blindly planning these many properties and behaviors. As for the requirement, I was planning. So three variables, three properties that are integer properties in the x equal to some 10 and y equals some 20 and uh, to show the result one variable i must give these are called so in java if you want to comment any statements double slash we use here friends double slash sorry i'm giving what message you want properties so okay fine so these are called data and terminology we call as a properties and three properties i plan and two behaviors one behavior is a add behavior y is a return type add is a method of and one more behavior is the subtraction behavior. So whatever operations you want to define, we should be given inside these behaviors. Inside these behaviors, we have to define our operations. So here, addition operation, we have to do that. A x plus y, I need to store into the result variable. R e s u l t result equals x plus y. So then I want to print that. If you want to print anything in Java, what is the statement we have? System dot out dot print ln. At shortcut, I said in every word three characters we need to type system s y s out o u t. Just to give control space. That's it. And here we give some message, valid message like uh, addition of a and uh, uh, b is uh, something like meaningful string. I was giving concatenation give that result you may have some doubt Ravi, you said here a uh, plus is a addition here plus is a concatenation you're saying that what is that okay yes friends here 
friends x and y variables are what type of variables integer variables integer means number systems that number system c between the, between this plus operator two variables are of the same number systems the number system means it can be integer it can be of a float any kind of data with decimal values or without decimal values everything is a number system only between the plus operator any number systems are available means it does the addition now see here x and y are the numbers right x and y are what type of variables integer variables integer means without decimal point values these are called integer variables so if i give the float float data here float data here much between uh, plus is there means so this also does the addition only so when between this plus operator if there are number systems are the same type of number systems that can be integer integer or float or float into float float in anything is a number system it does the addition here i am saying concatenation why this is a number see result is what integer it's a number type only but this is not number type this is a string this is a string type this is what this is a string type so when two different data types between and using plus operator means it does the concatenation it does the concatenation okay na yeah so same let me do the operation for subtraction as well result equals x minus y subtraction then i was printing that result of the subtraction yes subtraction of a and b is so friends uh, i have planned some properties and some behaviors add and subtraction method behaviors inside this class like how i plan a uh, building plan with various rooms measurements in a piece of paper the same way i have planned something some properties and some behaviors inside this class open close parentheses then how can i execute this then how can i give this how can i execute this how can i execute this so class is a plan i am saying that even okay even i how i execute my building plan with the help of the building blocks i purchase the building blocks with the help of the building blocks only we are executing that plan in constructing in a real world the same way class is a plan we have planned something inside this class some properties and behaviors how can i execute this plan means of the class means uh, while creating class object creation so where in the building plan how we execute it with the help of the building blocks here how i am executing this class plan means with the help of the class objects now okay let's try to create object for this class where i can create a class object inside the main method you know for every class there will be one main method where execution starts over there right in that main method only i must create object for this third class so friends what is the shortcut to get the main method do you remember that what friends or just short... type main and control control exactly. main control space and select this so everything smart work don't type anything hard like this okay fine here in this main method nothing will happen if i run this because see, no statements were there inside this main method nothing happens you may feel something is right this is the only plan you have planned something that's it you don't have any sense of humor you don't execute them like how the building plan in a piece of paper does it have any sense does it have any state no the same way you don't have any state for this class plan properties behaviors how can we how can we access them through class object creation in the main method for this class we have to create an object so uh, let me create object third class so friends even third class t h i r d c l l s s don't type like that third class how many words are there two words third is one word class is one word in each word three characters only you type and you control space that's it see here e h i c l e control space that's it how the main method we click okay same way how the sys out we click the same way in every word three characters you control space yeah third class is a class name some class reference variable can be given any name obj equals new 
third class of so here third class see friends we have to create an object for the third class i said this is called object new third class of is a object new third class of is a object where i am storing into one variable obj of type a third class type just re remind just imagine like this in the i equal to some 100 i was giving me so friends here 100 is a object where i am storing into the i variable of what type of integer primitive type so 100 is a object where i am storing into one variable of type integer type the same way i am creating object for this third class how what is that uh, uh, create what is syntax for creating object means new third class of is a object for this third class this object where i am storing into one reference variable so in class everything we call as references right yes reference variable this is what type of the same object type as a third class this is called object creation i hope everyone understood right what friends yes yes sir. with this uh, with this uh, this third class object i stored into the same class type reference with this class reference variable we are accessing whatever we have planned inside the class we are able to access here result is there in the third class x is from third class y is from third class add is from third class subtraction is from third class so whatever you want in the class you can access with that class reference variable got it friends understood see if i run this program happily it is going to be run so here addition of a and b is that is coming 10 plus 20 subtraction of a and b is a minus 10 is given like this got it friends so and uh, and uh, one more thing here uh, so can i create more than one object for the single class means yes i can create class is a collection of objects we can have more than one object same example see here if you have one building plan the same building plan can i execute in constructing in many villas or not same plan can i execute in constructing many villas yes or no what friends same building plan i can execute in constructing many villas or not yes or no no one to answer no one not yes, sir. yes. we can we so can but respond if i ask some questions please try to respond okay that will be respect manner for everyone each other come on so so if we if you have one building plan the same plan we can execute in constructing in many buildings the same way a class is a plan means one can be executed in creating many class objects class is a collection of objects okay see i can create one more object new third class this object where i am storing into one uh, reference variable like obj1 okay i am storing it of what no need to no need to give the third class in before this just mouse over on this reference variable click on this what is the object third class? same type it is storing just mouse over create local variable automatically come okay na? so with this see i can have obj1 dot yeah. Uh, so friends, we are getting some background noise. Can you please uh, be in your don't mind? Yes, here. Yeah. With this uh, object reference OBJ, I'm accessing the water. I plan inside this class, I can access with this OBJ reference. Even for this object also, with this reference, I'm able to access them. So for one single class, we can have more than one class object creation can be created. Let's have a question now on this class. What is a class? You can say class is a plan or a template or a blueprint. We can say like, and what class plan describes or what class plan contains? It contains some properties and some behaviors. How many properties? How many behaviors? We have to plan inside the class. Yes, based on the client requirement. Based on the requirement, we are planning these many properties and these many behaviors as per the requirement. So can how can I how can I 
access this class planned properties and behaviors through class object creation where do we create a class object creation means inside the main method so new uh, the class the object of the class the class name itself is object new class name of store into one variable of type same class name so with the class difference variable i can access whatever i'm planning inside the class and one more thing to say class is class, class describes some properties and behaviors i said what type of behaviors these are means uh, you could say these are concrete behaviors concrete behavior means uh, the behavior which having some open close curly bracket if there is a open close curly bracket means uh, we can implement some implementation we can have some implementation between these braces this kind of methods we call as a concrete methods there is some other methods are there abstract methods we are calling in that we don't have open close curly brackets only method name with ending with semicolon that kind of methods we call as an abstract methods that i'll be calling in i'll be discussing in interface concept get it friends in class properties and behaviors what kind of behaviors concrete behaviors concrete means which have some some uh, body like this open close curly brackets this kind of methods we call concrete methods in these brackets we can do some operations what the implementation whatever we can do that hope everyone understood this class concept can i believe yes sir yes yes sir yeah can i move on to the interface concept yes sir yeah so let's try to create an interface friends as how you created the java class with following syntaxes how many words you want to give it as a class name every word starting character must be the upper case i said uh, let me open java api docs so like same how for we follow the syntax in creating the java class same syntax we have to follow in creating the interface as well so here if i click any of that Uh, uh, see friends here we can see your interface action listener adjustment listener see here action listener how many words are there two words are there action a caps listener l caps action a caps listener l caps is there and also class also see here action a class a caps even e caps so even if to create a class or interface every word starting character must be the upper case so let's follow the syntax and let's try to create a interface okay let's in which package you want to create an interface select that package right click on that new interface new interface let's give here the interface name as uh, reserve bank of india like rbi so if i give lower case it gives the warning just give rbi r caps bi something so friends for creating the class default modifier is a public even to create a interface also default modifier is a public one but here there is no super class for the interfaces but in the class creation we have super class is what object class and even you can see here there is no main method checkbox is available here observe there is no main method checkbox also is not available here okay fine just give the interface name following syntax okay being as a default modifier is public keep as like and just click on finish see the difference interface means we can see i symbol in the top observe i symbol in the top so public interface interface name. yeah so now let's talk about interface what is an interface make you understand and let me have one uh, uh, example for your better understanding suppose friends you are taking a online trainings uh, from me uh, what is the interface you are using friends to take online trainings go to meeting go to meeting is a service sir go to meeting is a service it's not an interface right what is interface desktop right laptop where user interacts through what user interacts to take the online classes desktop or laptop or not right 
So take example, ATM machine is that if you want to draw the money, so do you say enterprise is a withdrawal? No, withdrawal, deposit, these are the services. To utilize the services, you, user, you must interact with the ATM machine, right? ATM is a interface where user interacts. If, so go to meeting is service here, Laptop is an interface where you interact with the laptop in using the go to meeting service. You are connecting to me to join the classes, right? Yes. So, friends, once you go, to, if you want to draw the money, you go in front of interface ATM and you will be clicking one of the service called withdrawal. You have so many services in the interface like uh, deposit, withdrawal, mini statement like this. So, interacting, interacting with the ATM mission as an interface. And you are clicking on the service called deposit with the dollar. So, friends, you are only bothered about to get the money, not to bother about to get the logic behind that withdrawal service, right? You are only bothering about uh, to click on service and to get that cash from the ATM interface. So, once you click on that service called withdrawal, so that will be invoking uh, some other method where the withdrawal implementation were being given so friends only we can see the service that service only we are clicking on that once we click on the service it is uh, it is connecting to that the implemented class where this withdrawal has been implemented getting friends it is it is calling that implemented class where it is implemented for withdrawal and statements of withdrawal is going to be executed and giving cash to your interface getting friends just to imagine like what is interface means hiding the implementation details while exposing service names is called interface best example to make understand atm mission see friends we can see all the services in our interface atm the implementation were being given where in some other classes in some other classes the service implementation has been given once you're clicking on that service it is invoking some other implementing class for the withdrawal and executing that statements and giving cash to your interface. As simple we can say what is interface means hiding the implementation. See in a ADM, implementation is not visible, only the services are visible. Okay? Yes, hiding the implementation details while exposing service names. It's called interface. Okay, now let's go inside what interface describes. Friends, what class describes means, you know, class describes some properties and some behaviors. What kind of behaviors? Concrete behaviors. Now, come to the case of interface. Interface describes behaviors. What kind of behaviors? Abstract behaviors. Abstract behaviors don't have any body. How the abstract method is defined means here. Why? This is the only abstract method. Will it encourage concrete methods? Is it encouraging? Getting some error. Concrete methods are not allowed in an interface. See, mouse over what is saying that abstract methods do not specify a body. See, friends, whenever we get any error in your program, don't worry. Just try to analyze what is the error and mouse overing on that error message. See, the error message is giving clearly abstract methods do not specify a body. So what quick fix can I take to resolve this problem? Come on, friends. What we can have to remove? Remove, huh? yes, remove yeah. method body. Remove method body is a quick fix. So for every error, we get the error message and we'll use that quick fix what action can I take. If I click on remove method body, yes, it comes as this syntax. What interface follows syntax, that syntax is coming. Like this, I can have any abstract methods like this. So interface takes services only, that's called as an abstract with this 100% abstract methods. Friends, how can I access the interface abstract methods? Come on, friends. In a class, I plan some properties and concrete behaves. How I access them? Through object. Through By class. Object. Yes, you may have a knowledge like uh, we might be create an object for interface as well. Okay, fine. 
if you would like to create an object, where I need to create an object for interface? For class, where you created? In main method. Inside main. main method. Friends, even if I'm creating interface, did you see any main method there? We didn't see any main method. Okay, let's try to type main method. We know our shortcuts. We'll use the shortcuts. What shortcut? Main control space. Enter. Let's try to create a reference variable for this RBA. Okay, so new RBA store into one variable of type. What type of RBA? Is it aligned to create friends? No. What is saying that? Cannot instantiate the type RBA. So we cannot create object for the interface. So we cannot get out because why? Of not having any implementation for these methods, what is the what is the mean of creating an object for this interface to access them? So in practically, it will not us. Directly, we cannot fence indirectly, we can access. I will tell you what is the process. First of all, indirectly we can access. Before indirectly to access, first of all, we have to give the implementation for these methods. First of all, we have to give the implementation for these abstract methods of this interface. Where I can give that? In some chain classes. Okay. RBA is one interface. It provides some services. These services implementation should be given where? In some chain class. As I say, ATM mission is an interface providing some services withdrawal deposit. Those implementations are given where? In some other chain class. Same way. This withdrawal or deposit service implementation should be given in some other chain classes. So, so friends, uh, example taker, uh, let me implement this withdrawal deposit in ICSA class. Let me create one new class. In class only, we are giving implementation. I see ICA. In this ICSA class, I want to implement the interface RBA abstract methods. Okay. So extends a RBI. So why it is not coming? No, not extend. Sorry, sir. Implements. We should give that. Implements RBI. Implements RBI. So, so what is why why we getting the error means just the mouse over. See friends, what is saying like? See the error message. And tell me the what quick fix we can make use. What quick fix? Add on implementation methods. Exactly. See here, the type ICSA must implement the, the inherited abstract method from RBA. Do you want to implement the, in ICSA? Yes. Add unimplemented methods in ICAC. Take a chance. What happens? It is overrunning. See, so say example to understand. Father is having two empty lands, which is nothing but RBA is a father having empty lands, nothing but abstract methods. Empty lands means we have to construct. Abstract methods means we have to build. We have to define the functionality. Well, see, father is 70 years old. Doctor says he is no more. Okay, doctor says he is no more. Uh, father wants to see his uh, son's improvement. So what father is having the empty lands? He has given his two empty lands to the child, which is nothing but ICIC. Child started developing, constructing a building on what father given properties, empty lands. Child is starting developing the functionality like this. Um, uh, overridden withdrawal from ICIC. When I was giving in implementation, I am overridden deposit from ICIC. Friends, property, parent given to the chain. Chain started constructing on what parent given the property. Now tell me that property belongs to whom now? ICA. ICIC. ICIC, because where you are getting implementation in ICIC. So any of parental property is given to the chain only. Whether constructed property or empty land, whatever given to the chain means. It belongs to chain only. Chain can do anything, right? Yes, chain has developed that functionality. And this can be get access with who? With ICICA class only. So I must create object for ICICA class. New. So where to store? Variable 
of type IC is there. So with this I dot deposit is coming from where? I C I C. I dot withdraw is coming from where? I C I C. So if I run this program, yes, I can see you. I am all in. So suppose the same interface. Now these methods has to be implemented for HDFC class. Friends, you know, we have RBI is a parental bank. From their child bank, so many are there, HDFC, Kotak, ICICI, Axis Bank, right? Corporate bank, so many banks, child banks are there. Everyone has to be follow the standards of RBA. See, suppose you want to draw the money. What is the service you are clicking, friends? Withdrawal only. Even going to ICIC, HDFC, Kotak, Axis, every bank, we can find the service name if you want to draw the money, withdrawal service only. But implementation logic for withdrawal, bank to bank will be varying. Agree or not? Of course, end of the day, giving the cash into the hand only. But, but implementation for bank to bank for withdrawal will be varying. Agree or not? Yeah. Now, say now HDFC wants to start their services. So they must follow the standards of RBI, taking these abstract methods. HDFC implementing is a service, implement service implementation for withdrawal and deposit. So HDFC um, uh, have one HDFC. Yeah. In this HDFC, I want to implement that RBA abstract methods. Come on, Sammy. How can I implement that RBA abstract methods in HDFC? How can I implement here? First, we have to sort in the class. Implement. Implements. Okay. Implements. What to implement here? RBA. The inter so now we get the error for uh, HDFC class asking the type HDFC must implement the inherited abstract method RBI. Do you want to implement in this HDFC? Yes, add unimplemented methods of RBI into HDFC. Just click on that. Got it, friends? So who will access this uh, define the methods? Who can access this define methods? HDFC. HDFC. HDFC class. In the HDFC class main method, create a An object of HDFC. And store it of what type? HDFC class. So with this HDFC class reference a variable, I can call that deposit from HDFC. Withdrawal from HDFC. Got it, friends? Run this program. I am forwarded and deposit withdrawal from HDFC is coming. Got it, friends? In interface, directly we cannot create an object because no the methods have the implementation. Without having implementation, what is the mean of creating object and uh, uh, calling them is a meaningless. So all the interface abstract methods must get implemented in any of the chain classes. So when you go to interface means when the requirements are not freezed, requirements are dynamic. See here, this, this services withdrawal deposit will be used by HDFC, Kotak, okay, Axis, every bank use these services, but the implementation logic will be varied, right? So in the case, provide the services like this, use the circle, you will access the services, and implement your own like that. When the requirements are dynamic vendor to vendor, then you define as an interface. That interface abstract methods can get implemented wherever we require. Got it? So, as I say, directly we cannot create object for interface, but indirectly we can do that. How means, sir? So, storing that chain class, the interface RBI abstract methods where where i implemented in icsa chain class hdfc chain class so this respect to chain class objects i will be storing into the rbi reference here rbi interface reference variable i was creating so here i am storing that object of icsa into rbi reference so the same hdfc object I was storing into 
RBI returns. Now see, I dot deposit. Of course, deposit is coming from where RBI. I dot withdrawal is coming from where RBI. Even to this also, I dot deposit is coming from RBI. Even for I dot withdrawal is coming from RBI. But one time it refers to execute this ICICI implemented methods. This runtime, it will execute this HTFC implemented methods in the runtime. Compilation time is I, I is taking off what type RBA, withdrawal, and deposit. In runtime, it refers to execute this, uh, this chain class implemented deposit withdrawal are going to be executed. See if I run this program, what happens? Got it, friends? This concept is called polymorphism. One too many. One interface reference variable can hold multiple chain class objects. This is called polymorphism concept. Correct, friends? Directly, we cannot create an object for interface, but indirectly, uh, with that implemented classes, objects, I can store into the interface reference. Through that interface reference, I can access the implemented methods. Compilation time, these methods are showing as a interface methods and in runtime it executes this uh, object uh, implemented methods are going to be executed runtime friends hope everyone understood the concept of interface can i believe yes sir. yes sir. fine so friends uh, that's it for today Tomorrow, we'll be talking about abstract classes and we'll be talking about uh, starting with the uh, axis, non axis modifiers. Okay, friends. First, we have to throw about all this Java. Then, after that, we have to move to the CDN. All the concepts I'll be covering, friends. Don't worry. So, every concept I'll be giving very, very clear explanation like this. We'll go it very smooth. But the thing is, I want your friends uh, should be regular. Okay, now. Any doubts, friends? Still here today, we discuss what class and interface we have described. Is that is everyone? Is everyone here? Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Sabana. Sabana, go ahead. Go ahead. Grasp something. Grasp something. Sir, your voice is breaking. Sir, your voice is breaking. No doubt. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Friends, uh, tomorrow we will be the abstract class and we'll talk about access non access modifier. Yeah, any doubt? Hello. Someone is trying to ask something. Hello. Savannah, yeah. yeah, tell me when. Yeah, one second. Actually, we are here. We have defined some methods, right? Where we are defined the deposit of withdrawal of right. In inside that method, we have written some. That uh, assist okay. You have given some implementation. We have done some operations. Yeah. Okay. Basically, I printed some message. Okay. So withdrawal means uh, you want to draw the money. That withdrawal logic where I given implementation in ICICI class. For deposit logic where I implemented ICICI class. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. The same. This RBA abstract methods got implemented with HDFC class for withdrawal and for deposit. Implementation will be given to chain class because interface has what the all 100% abstract methods, right? These abstract methods implementation should be given there in some respect to chain class. In some respect to chain class, and where you want to implement any number of methods, we can implement with abstract methods. Implementations. Let me give it any uh, any of the chill plans. Yeah, okay. I don't like how implements new interface name as RBA. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay, friends. Any any more doubts okay, here? Any any more doubts? Yes, sir. Friends, uh, my voice is repeating. I think someone is doing something back end. Please try to do. I, I, I think uh, people can understand what I'm talking. Someone is doing back something. Please do so like kind of things. I can understand what everyone is doing back ends. Please don't do that kind of malpractices. Please try to understand. 
sir, I have one question here. Uh, Ankit. Yeah, sir. go ahead, sir. Yeah. So, sir, uh, uh, interface class can be uh, taken as parent class, right? Because we are using. Sorry, sorry. Can you please come again? Yeah, interface class like RBI can be taken as a, a parent class. Parent. Right? Correct. These ICICI right. are the child classes, implementing classes or right. child classes. Right. So, and one more question what I had was so, so which is preferable? So, do we have to write the direct methods or the indirect uh, method in, uh, in the uh, interface so, class? It is, this is not uh, 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 preferable, all of those things. See, okay. then the elements are dynamic. <laughs> When the requirements are dynamic, vendor to vendor, we cannot give the implementation. We provide the services like this. Take example. Now we are talking about hotcake as a China, right? If you observe in ACs and TVs, mobiles, we are making as same as a brand LG and Samsung. But when the products are manufacturing in China or not? They're providing service. We are as they are, you, are, you are taking that as a that all the assembled products are coming and building to your location, right? Suppose you want to start one uh, TV manufacturing units in India, where you are purchasing the spare parts from China, not from Korea or South, uh, somewhere else, Japan, right? Those are cost here. Where you are taking that from uh, China is providing some services. Hey, in LG, Samsung, you whatever you brand you want, you can manufacture, but what we can supply the uh, that all the ingredients for to build the TVs. You can put your own brand. That's what people are doing, right? Manufacturing TVs, reconnect, like so many TVs are coming. How they're building? They're purchasing that, all the ingredients and building in one location, right? Got it? The same way happens here. The RBI is providing one service. Okay, what we're doing? We're building here this class, we're building here this class with our requirements. Got it, sir? And the requirements are dynamic. Okay, so so if you are using anything that is dynamic, then we will then we can just directly use that mm. method in interface class. Okay, yes. Yeah. yes, whenever you have the requirements dynamic, a lot of people are using with their requirements, but the implementation will be varied. Okay, of course, you see like uh, ICSA Kotak uh, for withdrawal service, same logic as they are maintaining. See, ICSA can have 20 lines of code for withdrawal, suppose see, HFC can, ha can have 50 lines of code. The implementation will be varying, right? Bank to bank. No banks will have the same uh, code for withdrawal for HDFC and ICs, right? So logic will be valid, right? Okay. Yeah. Service is same, but implementation is the different. Yeah. And that, okay. that case, we go with the interface. That is yeah. not okay. there is kind of uh, which is best way, best way like this. Whichever you require, that we follow that. That's it. Okay. Okay. So okay. so but the but the basic but, but the bottom line is that whenever we are writing interface, we have it is to a model. It is providing some model. It is providing yeah. some model. That yeah. model you are, you are designing like any kind, like implementing in your respective classes, your wish you are defining, you are defining your own implementations. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So, sir, can I conclude that uh, if let's say if I have a, a HDFC ATM and if I go to Kotak Mahindra and try mm. to withdraw, so in, in backend it will call HDFC withdrawal uh, right method. No, if you see, so see, one bank to bank, we, of course, we can call that. We can call inheritance. Let's call inheritance. See, you what is okay. saying that suppose RBI methods you are implementing in Kotak, suppose. So, Kotak, being in a Kotak class, you want to access HDFC methods. That's what you're saying, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, we can do that using inheritance concept. Okay. Every time we not uh, inherit that uh, Kotak to ICSL, of course, that. <laughs> Functionality is bad, but of course we can inherit. We can inherit class to class. We can inherit. We'll we'll talk about one day about that inheritance concept. I will tell you that how to inherit one class to other class. Tomorrow we'll come to know that uh, when we talk about abstract classes, we use the extends keyword which turns to the inheritance concept only. Yesterday we'll be clarifying that. Okay. Yesterday we'll be covering that. Okay, sir. Uh, I have a question. Uh, we yeah. are uh, we are creating a reference for parent class, and with that reference, we are accessing the child class. What yes, child class. class uh, what this huh? com concept concept is called? Polymorphism. One interface reference is referring to how many objects, how many implementing objects? ICS implement object, HTX implementing object, Kodak implementing object. One too many. This is called polymorphism in Java. One too many, right? Okay. One forms. One too many is referring the objects. One interface 
is referring to how many objects? I see is your object, H is your object. This is called polymorphism. Okay. But we one are not, uh, methods, we are not. One class able. methods can be overridden into multiple chill classes. One interface abstract methods can be overridden into multiple chill classes. One to many, one to many. Okay, yes. implementation. Yes. Got it, sir? This yes. concept is polymorphism. One interface reference is referring to how many class objects? I see it's your object, it's object, etc., etc. Et this concept we can call as a polymorphism. Okay, sir. Thank you. Got it? Yeah. Yes, got it, sir. Friends, all right. So, hope everyone is uh, surprised, I think. Most of, most probably. Huh? Any freshers on there? Yes, uh, sir, I am. Sir, I am freshers. Sir. I am also freshers. No issues, no issues. Yeah. So, okay, friends, uh, that's it for today. We'll meet tomorrow with abstract class and uh, uh, we'll talk about access, non-access interface of Java. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye. Sure. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.